All right, now, crew, welcome back. So I have, oh, it's upside down, girl, it's upside down. I have something super cool for you guys. I don't know, this box, oh, I'm just so excited. I'm so excited to show you guys what's in this box. But, so the top of it, 59S, trusted by a thousand plus hospitals, y'all. This is hospital grade, okay? So it's from Sun UV, and I do have a couple Sun UV lamps, some UV LED lamps, and they work well. So I'm just going to go out on a limb and say Sun UV is a pretty good company. There's the phone number, there's the contact information. You also get a 12 month warranty on this product, which I think is good, it's good. All right, so, <laughs> Okay, so on this side, y'all, oh, I don't know why I'm like so lit, but I'm so excited about this because one, coronavirus is amongst us and we need something to clean our products. And if you run out of barbicide or whatever you're cleaning your tools and implements with, you could have something like this where I don't think you need any solution. So we'll get into that when I open it, but I'm very excited because what I'm hoping for is that I don't need any solution. I don't have to spend any more money buying barbicide, you know what I mean? So I'm looking for a fast, effective way to clean my nail tools. So this says eliminate, do y'all see that? 99.99% .99 germs and bacteria in three minutes, three minutes. Barbicide is really, really good, you guys, but it does take 10 minutes to work. This takes three minutes, okay? So I love that. You can scan this. If you guys can focus in with your phone or whatever, you can scan and then you could watch it. I guess they have a YouTube video. And then here's just some more information about it. You guys can read that. And then on the side... So, suitable for stethoscopes, blood pressure. So, basically, like they said, it's for the hospital. So, you can clean your hospital tools with it. You can clean your phone, your mask, your glasses, y'all. Imagine going to the gym to work out, coming back home, your phone's dirty because you've been touching, like, you know, the treadmill and the weights and stuff. Throwing your phone right into this and cleaning your phone. Come on, right? You can even clean your, oh, I didn't think about that, but that is so true. You pass your credit cards to the drive through lady, the people at Walmart, whatever, and they're not always the cleanest, right? So you can come home and clean your credit cards and stuff. You can also clean napkins by napkins. I don't think they're talking about the disposable ones. I'm sure they're talking about like the cloth ones. So you can clean your napkins, you can clean toys, and obviously cosmetic tools, which is what I'm going to do today. So that's that side. Here is the other side. Won't read all of that. Hey, no chemical residue. So maybe we don't need chemicals. Woo, woo. Okay, let's just get in this box. Let's just get in. I talked enough. I talked enough. I talked enough. I'm ready to see this thing in action. And I do have some dirty tools, y'all. Right? I saved some dirty tools for y'all. I just did two sets today. And I got some tools I did not put in Barbicide purposely. I put them to the side just so I can show you guys how well this thing will work. I hope it works well. I hope it works well. Um, I will reach out to the company. And if I can get a coupon code for you guys, that will be in the description box, okay? So after this video, check out my description box. If I have a coupon code, it will be there. So let's just open this up. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. <laughs> this is so cool. Okay, let me move this big old box. Oh my goodness. I am so excited about this, y'all. I really am. Oh, they wrapped it up so well. Come on. Okay, so here we go. Here's what it looks like. Here's what it looks like. Okay. Ah! Ah! Calm down, Nikki. Calm down. All right, so here's a cute little handle. I love it. Like, how portable is that, right? So you have a cute little handle. It's very soft on the outside. I don't want to say that it feels like leather. It kind of feels like, kind of like a plastic. It kind of feels like plastic, which is good because you could just wipe off the top of it if it gets dirty, okay? So that's what it looks like all around. Let's open it up. All right. Okay, so the lid is kind of, it's not heavy, 
but it's definitely firm. And so here's some UV LED lights, if you guys can see that. It says to remove film before use. So. All right, there we go. So I removed the film. So you have two at the top. There you go. And then you have two in the bottom. So that's that. And then it also came with this tray, which I think is cool. So I assume you would just put the tray right in there like that. Put your tools and implements right on top of it and seal it up. Leave it in there for three minutes and they get clean. So let's read the directions. I, that's what makes the most sense to me, but who knows. Here is the plug. I'm going to plug it up right now. All right, y'all, so it's plugged up. Let's read the directions and see how this thing works. So according to these instructions, you hit the button, it's going to flicker on and off so that you know that it's cleaning. It will do that for three minutes. Once it stops flickering on and off, you know that it's um, fully clean and you can take your implements and tools out. All right, so over here, I guess this is important to point out. Um, if the sterilizing is over or it's on standby, it's going to be a solid color. Here, I'll show you guys like that. If it's uh, flickering, then it's actually sterilizing. And if it's sleeping, you won't see any indicator it would be off. So there is that. They also have a beep reminder, which is cool because you guys know I say this all the time. I put my tools and my implements in Barbicide. It's supposed to be in there for 10 minutes, but I always forget. Now, of course, I could set an alarm for 10 minutes and then just go over there, but I don't. I don't set an alarm. I just put it in and I always tell myself, Nikki, this time you're gonna remember. But I never remember. So at least this has a cool feature that beeps. So it beeps twice to let you know that it is actually complete. So I'm excited. So I press the button. And as you guys can see, it's flickering on and off. So that means it should be sterilizing. But, oh, okay, 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 y'all. So listen, when I open this, it turns the light off, you know, I guess as a protective measure to protect your eyes so that you're not looking right at the um, lights. But if you look in here, guys, can you see it? No, man. Oh yeah, 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 you can see it. You see the lights? The lights are on, they're on. But whenever I open, cause I thought it wasn't working at first. I was like, oh my gosh, I was so concerned. When I open it, you hear that beep and it stops and it shuts the lights off. So I thought the I thought it wasn't working, but it's actually working. Um, so with that being said, I am going to clean up my mess and I'm going to get some of my dirty tools and we are going to see how well this thing works. All right now crew, so I have my uh, sterilizing bag here and then I have a couple items that I want to clean. So it says that you're supposed to put dry items in here and duh, that makes sense because it is electrical, right? So let's start with my brush. Now I did wash them because even if you were to clean your implements and tools in Barbicide, you're supposed to rinse them off first. Like you're not going to dump a bunch of dirty, dusty items into a container or solution of Barbicide, right? So same with this. So I did rinse them off. So what I'm doing with this towel is just drying them just a little bit because I don't want to cause any sparks <laughs> I don't send that to the fire y'all and it does say in the instructions to lay them flat you don't want to pile anything up right you don't want to pile it up you want to lay it flat so that's what I'm doing these are all the tools that I use today I had a bunch of one-on-ones today y'all so these are some of the tools and implements that I used in my one-on-one -on -one. And then a couple that I used from the appointments that I had today. So like I said, I purposely left them dirty so that I could do this for you guys. So let's put that there. I hope I'm drying them off good enough. Could you imagine, y'all? Oh my gosh. That would be a lit video. <laughs> Literally. 
<laughs> that video will be so lit, y'all. Oh my gosh. All right, so I'm almost done. All right, y'all, so that looks pretty good, right? Like that looks flat enough. As far as my drill bits, what I'm going to do is put them in here, like keep them in here after I dry them off and just put that whole cup in there because I don't know how else to do it. You know, my drill bits are so tiny. So they are washed with soap and water. Just dry them off really, really quick. And then I'm gonna put the whole container in there all right y'all so this is what it looks like i don't have anything really overlapping as the instructions say like make sure everything lays flat the drill bits are a little bit piled up but for the most part the actual drill bit itself the part that touches the client that's not overlapping do you see that it kind of looks like it is because of the stem the stem is kind of what's like overlapping but i think like I think this should be okay. So let's just turn it on. So you have to zip it up. And this is magnetic. I guess I should point that out. The lid has like magnets, so it's not as easy to open up. So zip it up. I'm going to press the on button. All right, y'all. So I did press the button and I turned it on. You guys can see that it's flashing and it will flash for three minutes. In here, you can see the lights are on. And it's working, I guess. It's doing something like, there's no noise. This is silent. There's no smell because there's no chemicals. So I'm going to let it sit here and work for three minutes. At the end of three minutes, I will open the container and I'll look and I'll see, like, do, do they look cleaner? Like, are they warm? Like, what's going on? Like, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but I'll definitely let them sit here for three minutes. And yeah, I'll let you guys know when the process is done. All right, y'all, so three minutes have passed, and as you can tell, it's not blinking anymore, so that means it's in standby mode. Sterilization is complete, and as you can see in the little window here, there are no lights. So, let's open her up. Let's see what happened. It, it smells like... It smells like it was warm in here. Like, I don't know if you, if that makes sense, but you could definitely tell that these had a little bit of still wetness on them, like they were damp, and this had some heat going on, and you, it smells like it was warm. Like, if that's, if I could say that. <laughs> it smells like it was warm, damn it. That's what it smells like. Um, other than that, though, like, everything still kind of looks exactly the same. Um, they went in a little bit damp from the soap and water and they're still a little bit damp. Obviously it was only in here for three minutes, but you could tell that this was on. It was warm. Um, yeah. And my tools are now cleaned after three minutes. Also, what I find pretty awesome is that I do not have to buy any more Barbicide and I do not have to mix Barbicide because mixing Barbicide is not fun. You have to remember the right ratio because if the ratio is off or you dilute it with too much water, well, then it's not as effective as it should be. So this little cool bag here takes out the human era of having to mix your own chemical because nobody likes to mix chemicals. So I think that is so cool. After I'm done with all the Barbicide that I have, because people, like, you don't even know. Like, I have Barbicide. Let me show you because you guys think I'm kidding. All right. Hold on. In case you guys thought I was kidding. So I have this, right? This is the Barbicide, and I always talk about anti-rust formula. So this is my anti-rust Barbicide, right? But when that's done, oh, I got this side. Like, I am not playing when it comes to cleaning up my tools. Like, I'm not playing. So, once all of this runs out, <laughs> I'm not buying any more Barberside because I have this chemical-free cleaner in three minutes. Hospital-grade cleaner. I think that is so freaking dope. Not only that, it looks so adorable. It is so cute. So, I love that. But, yeah, Barberside, just in case somebody is wondering what the hell is Barberside, it is a hospital-grade cleaner. See that? Hospital-grade cleaner. And this is what you're supposed to use to clean your tools. You just have to remember how to dilute it. 
Um, I think it is somewhere on here. If, uh, do, 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 right here. So when mixing barbicide, you have to do a little bit of math, but it says you have to mix two ounces of barbicide to 32 ounces of water. Or what I do, I do one ounce of barbicide and 16 ounces of water. So basically I cut the ratio in half, but the concentration is exactly the same. But you have to be able to do math. You have to be able to mix it correctly if you want it to work correctly. But if you're tired of mixing barbicide and having your tools sit for 10 minutes, it says it on here somewhere. See, you have to leave it for 10 minutes. If you're tired of that, get you one of these get you one of these get you one of these and like i said i'm going to reach out to the company see if i can get you guys a coupon code if i can it will be in the description box so check that out and i will see you guys later bye uh i'm back all right here we go one more time i know i said i'll see you later well it's later already like sooner than you expected but i just wanted to show you guys this one too i i had it on my shelf and i was like you know what Let's just go grab it. They'd want to see it. They'd want to see it. So, same company and everything. Let me pull it out the box. Let me pull it out the box. It is the same thing as the large sterilizer. Same thing, but just a mini version, okay? So, let me move that over there, and I want to show you guys this, okay? So, I just got so excited. I was like, Nikki, they're probably tired. They don't want to see another sterilizer. But somebody out there want to see it, damn it. Somebody want to see it. So I'm going to be real quick and show this to you guys. Let's pull this film off. And I would say get the large one if you have a lot of clients or you have a lot of tools and implements and things like that. Or you have big things or if you plan on using it for more than just nail items. Like if you plan on using it for your phone or, you know, just anything, you know. And then go ahead and get the big one. But if you're just using it for your nail tools, then you could get the small one. Yes. How cute is that? How cute is that? Let me put something in here. What can I clean? What can I clean? Okay, I know what I'm going to do. I know what I'm going to do. I'll clean these again. Like, they can never be too clean, right? So I'm going to just pour them out just like that. Did y'all hear that? Okay, hold on. I'm going to plug it out. I'm going to plug it out so that I could do it again and you guys can listen. Listen, guys. So, hold on. Sterilizing. Did you hear that? Oh, my gosh. All right, let's read the instructions. I got so ahead of myself because I was so excited about being clean. Like, today, y'all, I was so busy. I woke up early. Um, I cleaned up my house and then I had a few clients. I had a few one-on-ones and once all that was done, I went right back to cleaning. Like today has been such a clean up. Like I'm just in that mode of like being really, really clean. Like I was taking stuff out of my pantry. I was cleaning my refrigerator. Like I just was in clean mode. So this video today is perfect. It is perfect because I'm already in that mode. So let me show you just like I did on the larger one. So this is what it looks like. This is how to use it. You can put anything in there just like with the larger one. And as you can see here, they're using their cosmetic uh, makeup brushes and things like that. And then over here, it just tells you what the lights mean. So at startup, it's going to be a full bright light after flickering one time. Um, when it's a solid light, that means it's in standby or the sterilization is over. And when it's flickering, it is sterilizing. So right now you can tell that it's flickering as it went around. Round. So pretty much it's almost done. I wonder is it going to talk to me and tell me sterilization over. <laughs> That'd be cool. <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot, y'all. This is so cool. Like I'm just in a cleaning mode today. It's so crazy. Sterilizing over. Bet. Yeah, that was so cool. So it says sterilization starting or whatever it said in the beginning. And then at the end, it said sterilization over. The large one, it beeps to let you know that the process is done. So there is still an indicator with the large one or the small one. Get whichever one suits your needs, whether it be the large one or the small one. But let me open it. And again, there, like it doesn't look any different. You just know that they're clean. I'm going to smell it. So... It actually smells hot too. Like it smells, and the lights are warm, so you know that they were on. Um, 
it smells warm y'all that's weird to say it smells warm i don't know what else to tell you it smelled like it was warm like it was in here cooking up like it was doing something i'm so excited that i have clean drill bits and i could touch them right after because with barbicide no shade to barbicide barbicide is fantastic barbicide is a fantastic cleaner y'all it is a fantastic cleaner i'm not there's no shade but what i am saying is that after you're done cleaning your tools and barbicide right you can't touch it because you have to wash off the barbicide because it's not good to make contact with your skin um but right after this is done i could put my hands right in there grab what i need and i could be ready to go like i'm ready to go my tools are clean in three minutes y'all what 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 <laughs> yes no more me coming on these videos telling you Dang, I can't use the right drill bit today, y'all, because my drill bit is over there soaking in barbicide. No, because in three minutes, my implements and tools are clean. So I'm kind of excited about that. But like I said, I do have to run through all of this barbicide, y'all. <laughs> I do have to finish all this barbicide. <laughs> Maybe I should sell it. <laughs> Maybe I should like just, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, y'all. <laughs> All right, y'all, that's a wrap. Thank you so much for rocking with me to the end of this video. I really feel like these are necessities, especially with coronavirus amongst us. I definitely feel like we need something to sterilize. Like, so, like literally, I want to get inside here. If I could fit in here, I would just get inside and literally, like, sterilize my whole body. Like, that's how, that's how I feel, especially once I leave the gym. When I leave the gym, I just feel like, there's every kind of possible germ it's like seeping from my pores. So <laughs> I would definitely dive in here if I could. <laughs> Hopefully you guys like this video. Hopefully you found it interesting or at least entertaining. But check the links in my description box. Again, if I do have a coupon code, that's where it will be. If you get the larger one or the smaller one, let me know which one you got and why. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.